name is Asim Jain and today we are going to learn how do we take export of a database or a collection from MongoDB and how to import it again. So uh, right now I am on a database which is PCAT and we can see some collections over here. So there are multiple collections and if I have to do an export of a particular collection I have to share it with some of the team member or I have to take data backup before I really screw it up so how that can be done so details you can find on my blog on my website which is exporting uh, how you can export data uh, through Mongo so this is how uh, from uh, Mongo export command you can give the database name and collection name and that's how it would work so we'll just try it on the console so I will say mongo export so you just need to make sure that there is something which is called as terminal and there is something which is called as uh, mongo uh, console so if you will try to do mongo export and then so let's try and follow this that you will say minus tb and your db is pcat and then you are trying to get the collection so if you will and there is something which is called a double dash and single dash so where to use double dash and to use single dash that is important as part of syntax so then you have collection and after that you can give the name of the collection which is products so once you do this you will get uh, the query that uh, this won't work basically over here so the reason I just wanted uh, you know most people have the confusion sometime something like this is this that they try to run this uh, command on the mongo prompt itself or mongo console and then they end up having these issues and that's why before we make the mistake we just learn it in the right way that these commands does not work inside mongo console you have to work it from your terminal or command prompt or outside uh, your uh, mongo console so uh, let's try to do ls again and this is my command prompt now inside my command prompt if I will type this command here so this will uh, mongo export this so there are some uh, the way you run mongo d or mongo so these commands get uh, you know inside the bin directory uh, these are executable and they are understood if, uh, if your, your set class path is set properly uh, they can be run from anywhere so these command will uh, take some inputs based on whatever you want now the problem here is uh, if you see something on console it doesn't make sense because you want it to be tangible which uh, you can consume uh, while you are trying to re-import it so second option which uh, uh, this guy gives you is output so you want to take the output and then you can give it any json file or whatever you want so what we will do over here is we will say out and then we can give it any path so I will say is as I have a mongo home folder which I usually keep all my mongo stuff organized there instead of keeping it keeping it in desktop or any other folders and then uh, wasting time in searching you guys can also create one specific dedicated folder for all such import export and activities so that you don't uh, lose your data whenever you need it so inside mongo home i want to name it as products and then i can name it as the file extension doesn't matter but since the output is json we can name it as json since i'm on mac linux the file extension is not a big deal for windows guys yes you might have to do but uh, uh, mongo doesn't take uh, you know uh, doesn't depend even if I'll say XML it would do the job the same way as it would they, they do with JS file or JSON file so I'll do it with JSON and I will append it with the date 
because I might have different uh, backups so just to distinguish on which date I am taking that would be easier for me I usually append it by the prepend it uh, basically uh, append it by the date and there you go so this way it would uh, connect to the database and uh, it would give you the uh, message that how many records have been exported uh, something like that so now the record has been exported you might want to check your records so there are two simple ways either you can directly do a cat and then see or you would like to go to that location so you can do cd go to your mongo home and then you can open and see your uh, stuff over here so I have some log files and different stuff over here which I was trying to do replication replication logs which is an advanced topic we will be covering later so I already have the uh, you know product or production or whatever databases and did not want to mess it up or overwrite so this clearly identifies that today I have created this database and I can open it anywhere the best tool for to open it would be atom so we'll just see try and observe how it looks like over here so it opened it in uh, atom now uh, what's the uh, thing over here is these files have been exported but they are not uh, valid json in itself because they are bunch of uh, data uh, which are separated by no commas nothing they are on the separate line so uh, let me uh, you know explain you in a better way so if you go here and try to do it in json editor if you will put this and then you will find that there are some errors so that's how it's not a valid json it's bunch of json files one below another so uh, if you will uh, import directly from this file it's okay but otherwise the better way or practice is you can uh, export it as a json uh, array so that would help so we will try this you just have to give an option which is called as json array so that uh, all the records will be separated and they will look like this you will have proper comma over here and this would be a valid array so I am just uh, keeping it short so you will have uh, opening array um, and closing and whatever are the data they would be comma separated values and now if we will try this in the JSON editor it would show us that it's a uh, valid uh, stuff let's see so this uh, goes as a valid uh, json you can uh, see it check it you can uh, do here compare it everything so let's go with the recommendation uh, i mean this is my recommendation based on my experience so j let's uh, you know try to follow to make our life easier try to follow the recommendation so we will now try and export the same last command whatever we did with this new option so we will say hyphen json array sorry i did a cat i have to do a mongo export So once you go here, you have to say JSON array. And once you do this, so you will get the same record, same thing. Now this will override over here. So once I'll refresh this, probably we would be able to see the actual data. So best way is to open it in Atom. So atom instead of opening each and everything let's try to do atom 
production that we can give the file name and open it so this is a valid array and uh, this is a compressed array basically uh, so th now we can see it in more readable and proper format this is how the JSON starts and stops in all these documents and uh, so try uh, exporting it like this now we will try to import the same stuff in our next video so just to do a quick recap that uh, we followed an uh, article from my web blog from premaseem.com and uh, we tried to do the export in console then send it to an external file and then create the output as the json array and one more option you can do is you can have minus minus pretty so what we saw it as a single line if you want to uh, you know uh, look at it in a much more prettier way you can just have those options added you have to say minus minus pretty so the json what we tried over here last time was uh, we have to use the uh, prettyfy from atom to make it uh, look neat but this time even if you will do open it it would by default it's going to look neat because it was exported in a neat or a pretty format thanks for watching and uh, subscribe and uh, see more uh, youtube uh, videos to learn better